today we're going to have a lot of fun with some flocked paper and flocked paper for those of you that don't know is the type of paper that is infused with small fiber particles to create a raised decorative design. You're probably familiar with it from old wallpaper sample books from uh, years gone past. Um, but more recently, you can find these flocked papers being manufactured and sold in scrapbooking stores, in art supply stores, and so forth. So what I've done is basically cut a piece of flock paper into the shape or pattern that I wanted to use and I put it face down on some cool wax. So even though you think this process would work with warm wax, it'll create just a big mess if you try that. So make sure that your surface is nice and cool. You put the flocked paper fuzzy side down against the wax and then you really want to rub or burnish that pattern into your wax. And I was using a, an actual burnishing tool uh, from my printmaking days, but you could use a wooden spoon or a metal spoon. And you really are burnishing in those fiber particles into the surface of the wax. So as we're zooming in here with the camera, you can see that you can get, you know, very fine details, small lines, little dots like we've got here, and also broad patterns and shapes. And of course, then, this creates a nice surface that you can further develop and build up with color, pattern, and texture. The final piece here was worked up with pan pastels, the ochres in the, the negative space, some greens and reds in the flower. I also used a hot wax stylus tool to create some lines and some dot patterns in the center of the flower as well. So I'll be looking at that in a future video. But in the meantime, you might want to keep your eyes open for some flock paper samples and infuse a, a few areas of your encaustic works with these beautiful patterns and designs. Have fun with this!